The Associated Press is reporting on another mind-blowing symptom of climate change. A new study in the journal Nature says, quote, If carbon dioxide emissions continue at their current pace, by the end of the century, parts of the Persian Gulf will sometimes be too hot for the human body to tolerate. How hot? The heat index, which combines heat and humidity, may hit 165 to 170 degrees. That's so hot that the human body can't get rid of the heat. The elderly and ill are hurt most by current heat waves, but the future is expected to be so hot that healthy, fit people would be endangered, health experts say. All right. That's incredible. Now, they go on to say that obviously it's not, you know, 24 hours a day or whatever. It's for, I think, six to seven hours midday at times, certain times of the year or whatever. But uh, this is somewhat unprecedented. And it's directly because of the greenhouse effect and directly because of climate change. Guys, that's not that far away. Like, oftentimes when we discuss climate change, or when we used to discuss climate change, it was this thing that, that we talk about as if, you know, great-great-grandkids around that time, that's when they'll start to see the beginning of all the problems. Now, I think the problems are happening right now. Whether you look at the increase in wildfires in uh, the Midwest and the West and the United States, and I'm sure elsewhere, whether you look at the increase in other kinds of natural disasters, whether you look at the increase in drought and stuff like that, it's happening already. And it's, it's time that we act on it, but I feel like no matter what the fuck happens, we can't get our shit together enough and we can't get the world on board enough or even our own government where we we treat the problem for what it is and we really move in a different direction when it comes to our uh, energy source. Now, I always find it hilarious when people on the right argue that, you know, this is going to hurt the economy and we got to be practical and that's why we can't do dick about it. No, 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 no. If anything, the opposite will happen. If we have a green technology boom and we have to redo the infrastructure in all countries with green technology and renewable energy, there's going to be nothing but economic upsides to that. How do you not see that? This entire blossoming new industry that we need to implement in all these different places. Obviously, there's tremendous upsides. Obviously, many jobs are going to be created. Obviously, it'll help with wealth creation. This idea that, you know, oh, since we have to move off of the old guard, it's a problem because it just is whenever you move off the old guard. I mean, that's like saying we got to stick with horse and buggies and fuck the cars. You know, oh, hey, man, we're but there's so many people whose jobs are tied to the horse and buggy, and we're so used to it. And, I mean, what, should we have stuck with the landline when the cell phone came along? And should we have stuck with the, the Saved by the Bell, Zach Morris fucking brick phone when they came along with the flip phone? And should we have stuck with the flip phone when they came along with the newer smartphones? It just, there's no argument for it. And the only people making those arguments are people that are bought off by... Uh, the oil companies and the fossil fuel companies or people who are just ignorant and useful idiots. And I don't, it's, I feel like no matter how many times I report the most incredible stories, we still don't move quickly enough down the right road on this. And it's not an excuse anymore to say, oh, but, but India and but China. I mean, what kind of a fucking, so if they were, if they randomly legalized murder, what, what, what is that we'd say? Oh, I mean, what are we going to do? India, China, they murder. We got to murder. They murder. India, China. That doesn't mean anything. It's fucking... The Charlie Brown shit is what I hear when people say shit like that. No, we know that we have a tremendous problem here. We know we have the ability to do the right thing if we just put our mind to it and get the money out of politics and end the corruption in the fossil fuel industry having its tentacles on everybody. So it's time to fucking do it. They're saying by 2100, no matter what we do now, parts of the Persian Gulf, uninhabitable. Uninhabitable. I mean, good, you have you have AC, so maybe you won't die immediately, but imagine some places where people are living and the AC goes out, you're just going to die. You're just going to die. This is what we're talking about. It's already pretty fucking hot there. They're saying it's going to get hotter. We'll see, man, how many more stories do we have to do, whether it's the trillions of dollars that the cleanup from climate change will cost or whether it's other things. Uh, no matter how outrageous or incredible or unbelievable the facts are, we drag our feet. 
Let's stop dragging our feet and let's do the right thing because we have to do it. 